ever look in the mirror and ask, am I successful? Let's dive right into the big question. What is success? A fat bank account or Instagram followers? Yeah, we've all been there. Your Instagram's buzzing with influencers sipping champagne on private jets, rocking designer threads, and you're stuck wondering, is that what I'm aiming for? I still remember clutching my first paycheck for a filmmaking gig. It wasn't exactly retire to the Bahamas money, but man, did it give me a rush. I was king of the world, or so I thought. Cut to 24 hours later, the buzz wore off, leaving me scratching my head. Was that it? Famous people from all walks of life have tried to define success. Tony Robbins thinks it's about freedom. Winston Churchill says it's bouncing back from failures. Michelle Obama? She believes it's about making a difference. So which one is it? Albert Einstein once said, try not to become a man of success, but rather try to become a man of value. I'm not saying success is bad, but if your success is all about likes, views, or a hefty bank account, then my friend, you're missing the forest for the trees. Let me take you back to my high school days. I wasn't the star athlete. Nah, I was the guy trying to find my groove, trying to fit into the puzzle, all while grappling with what success meant. You know, a car that turns heads or a fat wallet? We idolized that stuff. You see, I grew up in a small town where the glitz and glam on TV make you feel like you're missing out. You start thinking status equals worth. It's the same mindset that's got people these days hustling for likes and follows like it's some golden ticket. But here's the kicker. What dreams were we even chasing? All right, time for a real talk moment. As we age, the game changes. We start to see that the juicy stuff of success, it's not in the destination, it's the grind that gets you there. Like that euphoria when you crush your gym goals or nail a tough project, or even when I love you becomes a two-way street. That's success in the making. But here's the thing, once you achieve it, don't park there. Keep going. Let's add another layer to this, shall we? If you're letting society sketch your success, brace yourself for some serious letdowns. We're talking about people hustling for that big corner office, the one with the killer view and an expense account. But here's the plot twist. Some of those high flyers, they feel like empty shells because that wasn't their dream. It was somebody else's blueprint. Imagine you're 90, looking back at your life through a fog of years. What's gonna make you say, nailed it? Will it be the zeros in your bank account or the zero regrets in how many lives you touched? Don't get me wrong, craving luxury isn't a crime. But if that's your sole scorecard for success, you're undercutting your own worth. Let's mix it up a bit. Imagine success is a jigsaw puzzle. The corners are your non-negotiables. For me, that's my family, my health, and my peace of mind. The border pieces, those are your goals. Buying a house, traveling the world, whatever floats your boat. Now the middle pieces, ah, uh, those are the best ones. Those are your everyday wins. A good laugh, a project completed, a random act of kindness. You need all these pieces to complete the picture. I wanna loop in a story my grandma used to tell me. She was a simple woman, never had much, but she had this radiant smile that could light up a room. She used to say, the real riches are the ones you carry in your heart. Grandma was a hit at parties, by the way, but her point stuck with me. You can be in a room full of gold and feel empty, or you can be in a room full of love and feel like the wealthiest person alive. So what's the plan now? How do you go about defining your own success? Step one, get rid of the outside noise. Step two, take inventory of what truly matters to you. And step three, go after it like your life depends on it, because it does. Think of success as a chameleon. It changes colors depending on where you are in life. Maybe today it's landing your first job. Tomorrow it might be quitting that job to start your own business. Next month, it could be taking care of an ailing parent. And the cycle never ends. Your idea of success will evolve, twist, and take unexpected turns. And that's the beauty of it. The road to success isn't a straight highway. It's a winding path with bumps, detours, and some breathtaking views. Savor it. So now, it's your turn. Step back, zoom out. Does society's view of success influence your own? What does success look like for you right now? And I mean now, not five years ago or five years from now. Start there. Realign your actions, your choices, your life around that new focal point. Stop borrowing someone else's definition and start creating your own. Trust me, your future self will thank you. As we wrap this up, I got one final piece to add to this success puzzle. Give back. Ever noticed how the most successful people are often the most generous? There's something about giving, whether it's time, money, or expertise, that just amplifies your own success. And hey, karma has a way of making it all come full circle.